Let's get into something really serious and potentially lucrative. We all remember how the world flipped upside down when the last pandemic hit and how some people managed to not only survive, but thrive financially during that time. Well, history has a way of repeating itself. Recently, the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a global health emergency. Today, I'm going to break down how you can capitalize on this situation using the lessons we learned from the last pandemic as a guide. Whether you're an investor, entrepreneur, or just someone looking to secure a financial future, there are opportunities here for those who are ready to act. So let's dive in. First things first, let's talk about what it means when the WHO declares something a global health emergency. Essentially, this is a massive signal to the world that a situation is serious and that governments, companies, and individuals need to take action. During the last pandemic, we saw how this declaration led to unprecedented changes in the way that we work, shop, and live. And with those changes came opportunities for those who were ready to pivot. Think back to the early days of the pandemic. The world was scrambling to respond, and in that chaos, entire industries were born. Mass manufacturers, hand sanitizer producers, online learning platforms, all of these saw explosive growth. The same kind of ripple effect is possible with monkeypox. While it may not be as widespread as the last one yet, the declaration of a global health emergency means that governments and organizations around the world are going to start pouring resources and combating this new threat. So what does this mean for you? It means there's money to be made if you know where to look. The key is to act quickly and strategically. Position yourself in markets that are poised for growth as the result of the crisis. With monkeypox, the first obvious market is healthcare products. Things like vaccines, antiviral treatments, and even basic protective gear like gloves and sanitizers are going to be in high demand. Start looking at companies that are involved in production and distribution of these items. If you can invest in them early or find a way to supply these products yourself, you're on the right track. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper into this. During the last pandemic, companies like Moderna and Pfizer became household names almost overnight. They were at the forefront of vaccine development and distribution, and their stock prices basically reflected that success. With monkeypox, we're in the early stages of vaccine development and distribution. Identify biotech firms that are working on monkeypox vaccines or treatments. These could be the next big winners in the stock market. Keep an eye on press releases, clinical trials, and government contracts. These will be your indicators of which companies are likely to significantly have growth. You can easily get this by setting up a notification alert on Google or on any other search engines. Another angle to consider is telemedicine. Just like the last pandemic, people are going to be cautious about in-person doctor visits. Telemedicine is going to see another surge in demand. Whether it's investing in telehealth stocks or starting your own virtual consultation service, this is a place to watch. But healthcare and telemedicine aren't the only areas where we'll see growth. The demand for hygiene products such as disinfectants and sanitizer is most likely going to rise again. Start researching companies that produce these products or look for ways to create private labels that you can sell online. With the right marketing strategy on social media or on Etsy, you can carve out a niche in these competitive markets. We also had global digital solutions during the pandemic exploded. I mean, you remember Zoom, right? As monkeypox spreads, more people will look for ways to minimize contact meaning online services will be in high demand. Think about launching an e-commerce store focused on health products, or even something like a blog or YouTube channel that offers valuable content on monkeypox prevention and care. And don't forget about the gig economy. Just like the last pandemic, people will need services that cater to staying at home. Think stuff like grocery delivery, meal prep services, and online education. If you can create a platform or service that meets these needs, you are position yourself to cash in. During the pandemic, platforms like Instacart and DoorDash saw massive increases in usage as people stayed home. Now, with monkeypox, there's potential for a similar surge in demand. But beyond just grocery delivery, think about services that cater to the unique needs of people who may be in quarantine or isolation. This could include contactless laundry services, at-home testing kits, or even virtual personal shopping experiences. The key is to identify the specific needs that will arise from the spread of monkeypox and create solutions that addresses those needs. Now let's talk about real estate and investing, two areas that saw massive shifts during the last pandemic. If the spread of monkeypox becomes widespread, we could see another wave of people looking to relocate to less densely populated areas. This could create opportunities in real estate markets that are currently undervalued. During the last pandemic, many people fled urban centers in favor of suburban or rural areas where they could have more space and potentially lower their risk of exposure. If monkeypox continues to spread, we could see a similar trend. 
start researching real estate markets in less populated areas that may see an influx of buyers or renters. Whether you're looking to invest in rental properties or flip homes, there's potential for significant returns if you can get in early. But don't just think short term. Consider how this global health emergency might change industries in the long run. For example, companies that specialize in remote work technology, online education, or home fitness equipment could see sustained growth as people continue to adapt to a new way of living. Invest in companies that have potential for long-term success, not just those that might be a temporary spike. And let's not forget about precious metals. During times of uncertainty, gold and silver often see a rise in value as people look for safe investments. If you're looking to hedge your bets, consider adding some precious metals to your portfolio. Now, of course, with every opportunity comes risk. The last pandemic taught us that not every new hot stock or business idea pans out. It's important to do your own due diligence. Don't just jump on the bandwagon without researching the market potential and understanding the risk. Now let's talk about some specific pitfalls to watch out for. First, be wary of companies that are riding the wave of panic without a solid foundation. During the last pandemic, we saw a lot of companies rush to produce PPEs or hand sanitizer only to face quality control issues or regulatory hurdles that ultimately led to their downfall. Before you invest in or start a business related to monkeypox, make sure you understand the regulatory landscape and the quality standards that might be required. And definitely, definitely be wary of scams. Unfortunately, whenever there's a crisis, there are people looking to take advantage of others. We saw this with fake testing kits and fraudulent PPE suppliers. Be smart about where you're putting your money and who you're trusting with your investments. Stick to reputable sources and always verify the credentials of anyone you're doing business with. It is important to avoid getting caught up in the hype. During the pandemic, we saw a rise of mean stocks. Now, these are companies where their stock prices were driven up by social media hype rather than actual business fundamentals. While it can be tempting to jump on these trends, they are often incredibly risky and can lead to significant losses. Focus on investing in companies or starting businesses that have a solid plan for long-term success, not just those that are popular at the moment. Monkeypox may not top the last pandemic, but it's still creating waves in the global economy. Those who are prepared and proactive can turn this situation into a financial opportunity. Just like the last one, the key is to stay informed, think creatively, and act quickly. But more than that, it's about positioning yourself for long-term success. The world is constantly changing and the ability to adapt is more valuable than ever. Use this moment as a chance to evaluate your financial strategies, diversify your income streams, and build a business that can worry any storm. Whether it's through smart investing, creating new revenue streams, or simply staying ahead of the curve, you have the power to turn this global health emergency into a stepping stone to your financial success. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more tips on how to navigate and capitalize on the ever-changing world that we live in. Let's continue to stay ahead of the curve and stay safe, stay healthy, peace.